Hey guys and welcome to another block spotlight. In this spotlight I'm going to take a look at the aqueous accumulator from Thermal Expansion. Now I've got the block in my inventory here and this is the recipe. So you have some tin ingots in the corners, then we have a pneumatic servo in the center bottom slot here. The center slot uh, requires a machine frame with a bucket on top of it and then on the sides in the middle we also have a piece of glass. Then the machine frame is made using iron ingots in the corners with glass in the middle and then we have a gold ingot in the center slot but uh, sometimes you can also use the recipe using steel ingots so you have uh, steel ingots in the corners instead of iron ingots and the pneumatic servo is made by having some glass on the sides surrounding a piece of redstone with an iron ingot above and below it all right, so uh, let's get to it. The uh, ac <laughs> aqueous accumulator, sorry, is a fairly simple block. Uh, what it does is it gathers water for you. So basically what you want to do is place this next to a water source and it will start uh, sort of grabbing that water. So uh, before we get to that, I'm going to get rid of this here and show you the interface. So we have, uh, this slot here on the side so as you can see it's collecting water right now it's very slow though so it collects water at a very very slow rate but it does so so after a while this will fill up and it holds 4000 millibuckets or four buckets all right now we have redstone control here like most uh, of the thermal expansion machines and this allows you to turn off the block. So if you, for example, right now uh, it's turned on because you have it set to low. If you apply a redstone signal, uh, it will turn off because you will no longer uh, have the on setting, which is no redstone signal. If you set it to high, now it's turned off because it only works when you are applying a redstone signal. And you also have ignored, which means it will just ignore any redstone signal and just work. All right, so I'll leave it on that for now. Um, over here, we have the configuration. Again, something that's common for a lot of thermal expansion machines. What it allows you to do is choose uh, to which side of the block it will output water. So this block will uh, output water uh, by itself. You don't need to pump it out of there or anything. It will output the water through one of the output phases. So as you can see, this is an orange box, which means that the, uh, the water which is collected in this uh, well, reservoir, internal reservoir, I guess, uh, will be uh, outputted through an orange uh, output phase. Now, this here is the top of the block. We have the sides left and right, the bottom here, and this uh, in the corner here is the back. So right now I want to output from the top. So as you can see, uh, it's currently got every side selected as an output side, but you know, that doesn't have to be. You can output through to every side, but you don't have to. So I want to output uh, from the bottom. So I'll click these to disable them. And now only uh, the sorry they say bottom i meant top so only the top of the block right now has uh, an output phase all right so i'll quickly put my uh, fluid duct on there and you might have seen that little squirt of water uh, <laughs> shooting through the fluid duct so if you look at our tank here it's already got some water in it because it is collecting water just at a very very slow rate all right so what you want to do is well not leave it out here like this the point of the aqueous accumulator is that it collects water from water blocks so leaving it out like here like this it's okay you get water just very very slow it's sort of trying to simulate uh, retrieving water from the environment and you know you'll need a lot of aqueous accumulators to get a decent amount of water like this now if we place a water block anywhere around it so it can also be below it or on top of it or one of the other sides so it will collect water from any side but when we place one next to it it will start collecting water a bit faster so uh, you can't see it right now but let's say if i break this fluid duct you will see it's uh, collecting water just a tiny bit faster but it's still very slow 
what you really want is to have two blocks of water next to it so now we have two and as you can see it's really really collecting water very fast right now so that i think it's about uh, a bucket of water every like one or two seconds and when we uh, connect it to our tank right now you will see it uh, starts to fill up the tank a lot faster so you should see a bucket of water in there yeah there we go almost at one bucket of water uh, for each each tank block by the way so we have um, nine blocks at the bottom so that means that it's already got about 15 15 blocks of water or something well buckets of water now you can surround it with more than two but this will not make it uh, gather water any faster as far as I'm aware so let's have another look uh, yeah <laughs> it's, it's it's gathering water faster than it's flowing out but um, so as far as I'm aware you can't speed it up by having more than two blocks of water around it but yeah so that's basically it for this block it's it's fairly simple but it's very very useful because you don't actually need for example a built craft pump and an existing uh, well water body in the world to generate uh, water so this will basically generate water out of nothing uh, sort of from these source blocks um, the reason why I think I'm just uh, guessing what the mod author was trying to do here is that normally you when you have three uh, water blocks next, uh, next to each other it's in the middle block is an infinite water source so if you remove that you uh, get uh, a new uh, water source block there and so now the aqueous accumulator is the middle block so now that is sort of representing the the infinite water source block which is constantly being removed and placed uh, well in the internal buffer or being pumped out through uh, one of the uh, output sites all right so that's it for this block i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one